opening. Sure. We're going to do our opening now. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian. And I'm Nola. We're with Costume Trek, and we're here at... Sabotin Con. I thought it was Sabotin Con. I don't know. How do you pronounce it? Sabotin. 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 Say it again. Sabotin. 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 How do you say this word? Sabotin. Sabotin. How do you say that this word right here? Sabotin. How do you say this word? Sabotin. Are you sure? Because uh, sure. everybody says it different. Sure, I'm sure. How do you say that word? Sabotin. How do you say it? Sabotin. Are you sure? Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks. See you later. How do you say this word? Sabotin. No one can agree. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I think so. I, I don't know. I probably say it wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. We say sabo. Cool. It's sabo for short. It's, it's, it's sabotin, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. If people ask what con I'm going to, I just say sabo. Exactly. You sure? Yeah. You know what that means? Oh yes. What does that mean? Uh. In English, I don't know. In Spanish, cactus. Oh, cactus? Oh! Okay. So, yeah, I don't know that we want to necessarily tell everybody about this convention. Yeah, that's a toughie. I mean, it's a great size the way it is now. I want them to be successful, but I also don't want them to morph into a big bloated tick that other conventions, which we won't name, are. Yeah, I mean, this is perfect. You can meet people. It's small enough that you see the same people and can meet them and make friends. But it's not so big. You know, it's not so small that there, there's nothing to do. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff to do here. It's a really good sized convention. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Are we doing that again? Uh, no. <laughs> so I recognize you. You're Sailor Moon. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm Nonin from Kill a Kill. This is Rib Chan from Magical Girl Apocalypse. It's a manga. Uh, so I'm Yoko from uh, Gurren Lagan. Uh, I'm Sinjagosa from World of Warcraft. It's Mary Poppins, y'all! Mary Poppins, y'all! Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. It's, uh, it's a dragon that's in World of Warcraft. This is a design by Zach Fisher. He's an uh, artist that I found on Facebook. So are you aware of the, the no costume is no costume rule? Yes. You, you got a couple minutes? Sure. She's the one of the first magical girls in the whole series. Well, I'm a Kraglin, but what's a Mary Poppins without her Bert? So, uh... Ah, there you go. There you go. You're acting like all nervous and stuff. Oh, uh, sorry. Then this is a costume? Yeah. Her first appearance, she comes in the first chapter and kills a high school of teenagers. It's canon, it's in the anime, so yes, it's a costume. Okay, I'm not complaining. I just don't want you to get in trouble. Oh, I'll be fine. I've worn worse things to con, so. We had a friend yesterday that actually asked us, have you sabotined your con? And I said, doesn't saboten mean cactus? <laughs> Pretty sure it cactus does. Con. Cactus con. Have you never been you know, interviewed on TV before? Uh, no, not really. Oh, that's good, because this is YouTube, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, um, then we'll... Sorry. You got something in your pants? <laughs> I'm building up energy. Your costume is fantastic. Thank you. Yes, I uh, sewed a bunch of straps together and made some boxes. This one was a lot of um, Goodwill, so like this was originally a dress that was repurposed. It took a long four months to make. It took Obviously. three days. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot less to it, but um, it was still really time consuming. How long did it take you? Like a week. A week. Oh, I made a hat too, cool. and gloves. I got it's like three layers of different uh, spandex all together. The hair probably took about 60 hours. Uh, it's made out of like duct tape, two wigs, lots there of- duct tape in there? Oh yeah, for the base, I used like foam and then wrapped it in duct tape and then wrapped it in hair. This coat obviously didn't change too much besides adding ruffles in my patch and my arrows right up here. Because I did have to like paint the shoes. They were uh, blue before, so I took leather paint to them and did that, all that. A lot of it's made with Warbla, EVA foam, and cellu clay. And LEDs, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and then the hearts are resin cast. My friend Nunu did it. Got a lot of hot glue gun burns and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Uh, my husband actually made my fin up here using cardboard and craft foam. 
okay. so it's made out of a broomstick I think he said and uh yeah he's really good at crafting stuff it's really really sturdy and it's got like the tripod and all that so yeah, and it's attachable for, uh, you know, ease of use. Uh, the chains, I used EVA foam. I basically had um, a paper layout that I made, and I print or uh, traced it onto the EVA foam, cut it out, and carved it all myself. For the collar, I interfaced it to be able to sew it and flip it inside out. And it buttons at the bottom, so it's easy, quick, and on and off. And I made the skirt myself with just acrylic paint and the lace on the bottom was actually really expensive, but it was worth it because I really like this costume. Lace ain't cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap. <laughs> so Dick Van Dyke was at Phoenix Comic Con. Did you get to see him? No, two of our best friends were getting married that weekend. Otherwise, we would have been there in the front row. I would have so ditched the wedding. <laughs> uh, I hand painted the entire costume with acrylic paint. I watered it down and swished it around. Jessica Negri also cosplayed as this, which kind of inspired me to do this. And the shoulder pads are clear plastic with organza over it. How long did it take you to put your contacts in? Not very long. I'm used to putting in contacts, so it only took like a minute. How do you get that thing to stick to your head? Eyelash glue. What's it look like? It's like kind of blurry. It's like you don't have your glasses on, but you can still kind of see. Well, I think it may be too late to not tell everybody about it, but I get why you don't want to tell anybody, because it's it's a good, good size convention. It's not too small, it's not too big. You can see people and run around and meet people and make friends, and, and all the costumes are wonderful. Are you creating an awesome costume for a convention or masquerade? Send us an email now and you may be featured in an upcoming episode of Costume Trek. See you next time.